too much about how you breathe, right? You just breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. What's there to think about? Apparently, a lot! Have you ever actually considered the differences between them? Mouth breathing and nose breathing? Because I didn't until I saw this diagram and realized that that one is me! It's me! And I don't want it to be me! I want to be that one! Nobody told me that the way I breathe would change me! Nobody told me! But you're lucky because I'm here to tell you! Nose breathing is the most popular form of breathing and it's the one that you should be doing most often subconsciously because nose breathing can filter out all the unwanted particles in the air like pollen, dirt, dust, COVID, not COVID, sorry. Nose breathing also releases nitric oxide which widens your blood vessels and allows for better oxygen circulation throughout your body. Air is also humidified when it goes through your nose making it easier for your lungs to use it. But the reason that I, as a child, decided not to be a nose breather was because nose breathing doesn't allow for the same quantity of air as mouth breathing does. I never felt like I was getting enough air just breathing through my nose, and now I'm paying the price for my greed. <laughs> but aside from the quantity of air that you get, there's really nothing special about mouth breathing compared to nose breathing, which is kind of sad. Like, you get to bypass if you have a stuffed up nose or something, but that's it. It's just it's just easier. You don't get any of the cool side effects that nose breathing gives you. All of that stuff. Gone. Out of here. Yeah. <laughs> but with mouth breathing, that's really all you get. Just the quantity of air. You don't get any of the cool side effects that nose breathing gives you. All of this stuff is just gone, okay? No filtered air, no humidified air, less nitric oxide production, and then you get like negative side effects from it. Like dry mouth, or as I call it, cotton mouth. Cause you, you know, <laughs> never mind. And dry mouth can lead to things like asthma, bad breath, snoring, tooth decay, and more. Like changing your face shape. The way you breathe helps form all of the muscles in your face and neck and jaw and properly functioning muscles allow your tongue to rest on your inner jaw, which can completely change how your teeth look. This is what doctors have to say about it, okay? If you're a nose breather, the tongue creates a good definition of cheekbones and wider face through force of exertion against your jaw. The tongue of mouth breathers have nowhere to rest, resulting in a facial structure change as time goes on. If you're a chronic mouth breather, your face will be narrow with poor definition in your cheekbones. If you're breathing through your mouth, you tend to tilt your head back, increasing cranial contents in the back portion of your brain, and this has a direct result on your posture and shape of your face and neck. Identifying mouth breathing at a young age will help you improve your jaw and teeth grow. When left too long, the situation becomes chronic and requires intervention methods to help correct the problem. Nobody intervened for me! Nobody said anything! Nobody told me! There's just no way around it. Nose breathing is just better for you than mouth breathing. But like, how can I become a better nose breather? Because I'm, I'm not doing great with it. <laughs> not came out. Ew. Gross. I googled it for you guys. Apparently there's quite a few exercises. It sounds hard, but like we can, we can try them anyway. <laughs> My friend told me about something called the Breath of Fire, which sounds like it's from Avatar The Last Airbender, but we're gonna try it anyway, okay? All you have to do is sit up straight, have good posture, and you're gonna be breathing in through your nose. Duh. But when you breathe in, you're gonna take a big deep breath and you have to focus on filling your belly, which feels weird because I usually breathe through my chest, which apparently is wrong too. Uh, and then when you fill your belly, 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 you gotta hold it and then breathe out through your nose again. You gotta do it for like 30 seconds. So just. That was not good. I need to work on this, okay. Why are you the way that you are? I was promised fire. Where is the fire? 
So exercises like that can actually improve your breathing and transition you from being a chronic mouth breather to a nose breather that maybe breathes through their mouth every once in a while. But like doing that, you can avoid like a bunch of negative side effects. I wonder what other decisions I made before my brain was fully developed that are gonna come back and bite me in the ass. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please drop a like. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I got this whole new setup for these educational type videos that I've been wanting to do. So yeah, let me know what you like, what you don't like. And if you have any burning questions that you'd like me to answer, if I should just continue answering the questions that you didn't have. <laughs> yeah, okay, my name is Bella. You might know me as JS. With that, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. So the chair actually changes colors, which is pretty cool. I thought that like, if I did green, it'd look like I'm floating, but I think it just messes the green screen up. I'm done breathing.